Hello, uh, we are at Flatstock 49 at Primavera Sound. I'm speaking to the illustrious gig poster artist, Sean Mort. Are you illustrious, Sean? Um, no. I, what do you, you've not asked me a question. Why are you at Flatstock, Sean? I absolutely love doing this and it's really nice to be a part of a community that is so kind of highly valued and yeah, I don't know. Uh, how are you enjoying uh, Flatstock 49 so far? How does it compare to the other Flatstocks? It's been good, it's, it's really sunny, so you just can't put a price on it, honestly. It's great, I, the last couple of years have been just awful. Like, it was really, really like thunderstorm and rainy last year, and the year before was dead windy. So this is just, just to be able to go on the beach and have a swim, and then come here and just chill out, and there's a lot more people wandering around as well, rather than, you know, when it's raining, nobody wants to look at posters. Paper and water are natural enemies. <laughs> So, Sean, how did you get to become a poster artist? Um, I, I, there was a gallery in, a, in back in Manchester where I'm from, and they sold all gig posters and things like that. So I kind of thought, well, this is kind of in the world that I live in. So I asked them if they had any jobs going, and they had a few jobs. So I did a couple for them and then did a few more, and then, I don't know, things seemed to go quite well. So then I struck out on my own, and then people told me about flat stock. Um, which is a, like a, a touring, um, and we're being photographed by someone. Sorry, it's just a little bit off-putting. It's like it's like breaking the fourth wall right here. Um, yeah. So, and then there's this touring show of Flatstock that was in Hamburg at the time, like a couple of months after I'd started doing it, and I got invited to do that. So I came over, and then things have just kind of escalated from there because obviously, to turn up and only have done three posters makes no sense. So I kind of, you know. To, you know, turn the wheels a little bit more and got and got more work, and that's why I'm here now. So, why would you say that someone would want to buy a gig poster? Um, I think it's it's a really nice memory of a of a good time that you had. I mean, you know, if if you go to see a band and that means that you like them, you know, you're, you're predetermined to you already like them. So, um, and, and I think that it's also an age thing. So, like someone like at my age or your age, so in our early thirties, who doesn't necessarily want a band t-shirt anymore and maybe like would you know value a little bit of art on the walls i think that it's something really nice it's an it's an affordable way of representing a band that you like and it's also i don't know it's just nice so who would you say are your favorite artists that are exhibiting at this year's flat stop um i i really i really like methane studios they're amazing they're from somewhere in the middle of america i think it's atlanta um, so to come all, all the way over here is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, they're great, really good. I like Guy Burwell from Portland, he's next to me, and that's his stuff's amazing. He doesn't really do that much stuff anymore, so I think he's probably just coming for a party and just like, you know, why not be in Barcelona for a few weeks or whatever. Uh, Miriam Dijkma is really good, she's from Holland. She's next to me as well. I'm just choosing people who are next to me. That's, that's the paucity of my ambition. I just can't see any further than what's 10 metres away from me. So yeah, no, every, everybody's pretty amazing in their own right, but it's all about taste. So, and that's the beauty of it is that there's so much different stuff. Like, you don't like my work, and that's fine because there's a million things that you like, and it's the same vice versa. It's just, I, I, I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing. It's, it's about variety. That's Mr. Sean Mott, tell me who's your favourite artist you've created a poster for so far? Bell and Sebastian, without a doubt, they're amazing. I've done, I've done four. I'm just looking at how many posters I've done because it's because it's so I've got such, such a bad memory. I've done four posters, three posters for them. Ridiculous. I've done three posters for them, and yeah, they, they've always been my favourite band for, for the last 15 years. So to actually get to work with them and now get to see them for free and things like that is just is just awesome because they're a band that I've seen live 20 times and paid to see. So. Amazing. Oh, they're playing this year, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think they're playing tomorrow night. So I would go and probably go and see them if I get a chance. But I saw them three times last week, so it <laughs> feels like it might be a little excessive for the fourth. And I'll certainly be able to hear them. But yeah, I, I do want to see them for the fourth time. So we'll see. So other other than Bell Bell and Sebastian, obviously being one of your favourite artists, mm -hmm. and you've already done a poster for them. Who would you like to do a poster for? You haven't done one for yet. Uh, the Decemberists, I guess. They're, they're my second favourite band and for whatever reason don't want to work with me. I've tried, but they don't they don't want to do it. But that's okay. That's fine. You know, I uh but they're awesome, they're so good as well. So hopefully uh you know, next time they come around then maybe I'll get to do that. 
So could you quickly, for the uninitiated, talk us through the process of making a screen printed gig poster? Yeah, okay. Well, uh, you know, you'd be contacted by the artist or you could contact the artist yourself to see if you can work a deal out and then you do and then you come up with something based around the lyrics or a feeling that you have um, when you listen to the music and, and stuff and then you put it down on a piece of paper, whichever way that is. So my way is doing it on a computer and then, you know, printing it out. Other ways are done, you know, handmade or, you know, all sorts of ways. And then, you know, you know what screen printing is. Do I need to explain what screen printing is? No. Okay, that's all right. And then, yeah, everything's just hand printed. And I don't know, I guess it's, it varies for everyone. But yeah, for me, it's just inspiration from the music. And then, you know, hopefully they like it. <laughs> are you selling any other merchandise on your in your booth other than posters? Yeah, I have a few bits and bobs. I've got, uh, I've got some T-shirts printed by awesome merchandise heard of them thank you very much i think you've answered all our questions that we need for you to answer today mr mort no worries thank you very much um have you done flat stock anywhere else other than barcelona yeah yeah i've done chicago um austin um hamburg i think i think that that's it yeah yeah just just them a, a bunch of times as well. well barcelona seems like a pretty great place to have a flat stock isn't it i think so yeah i love it i just i i think even if i didn't um, didn't do very well here i would still probably come and do it just because it's it's a nice place to have a holiday come here for a week and just chill out and then hopefully make a bit of money on top it's an added bonus